Hey guys, Thunderclan Gaming here. So I did a few videos already, but then I realized that I haven't even shown you guys my units or my ruins on them yet. So today we'll be going through a review of my units and how they help me grow and where I use them. So first of all, let's start with Lumi. Um, I six star Lumi way ago before. I can even start farming dragons. Um, I six star her in order to farm dragons. It was really slow manual process, but I could farm with her um, in like like five six minutes a run. Basically, all my other units would um, come into play, and then she would solo the boss boss stage. I don't use her anymore, so she's on world boss ruins. Like look at all that. Doesn't really matter anymore. So this is my Galleon, um, I ruin him speed, crit rate accuracy, violent will. Um, I really like high accuracy because um, I think that landing the time to loot the armor, armor break is extremely important. So that's why I ruin accuracy slot 6 for him. Um, for speed, it, he moves a little bit before my tower and Rika. That's why I put them as a combo, wombo in the arena. So he's in my dragons team, um, in my uh, giants team. I use him pretty much everywhere. Hall of Heroes, all of that stuff. He's extremely versatile. Next up is Orion. Orion. Sorry about that. Um, I six star him because I think that he would add some randomness to my defense. But his ruins are pretty bad, so I don't really use him for arena defense. However, I do put him on guild war defense with my monkey and Ritesh, uh, Kumar, in order to get cheese out some wind. Um, he's on swift will. I don't use him on offense at all, and he's not that fast. He doesn't even have max ruins. But I put him on there to scare people, basically. And sometimes the randomness comes into play, and I win. So the third slot, uh, the, the next monster is Theomars. Um, he's probably one of my better ruin monsters. Um, he's on crack, attack, crit damage, attack, violent will. He hits for like 34k on first skill with attack buff and armor break. It's not a lot, but it's enough to one shot a lot of monsters. Um, so yeah, this is violent will. He got 72 speed subs. I think that's okay, I guess. A lot of people ruin him speed critical attack, but I like attack critical attack. Um, his second skill does a lot, a lot of damage too. I use him in a lot of places, mainly PvP though. Next up is Tower. Tower is um, part of my arena wombo combo. I used to use Violent Tower way back a, a long time ago, but then later on after I started crafting my arena offense, I s changed him to Fatal. Attack critical attack, but then as, as my Galleon and Rika, both, who, their speed went up, I had to change Tower's slot 2 into a, a speed slot 2 so that he can keep up. So now he is ruined Fatal Broken, speed crit damage attack. He does pretty decent damage. I use him in a lot of PvE scenarios. I, tow I use him in Giants, Dragons, and um, PvP. I use him in Beasts as well. Next up is Tyron. Um, for Tyron, I think that he's one of my... Uh, disappointments 6 stars. I 6 star him in hopes that he would do some pretty good damage in combination with his speed lead. However, his um, base attack as well as his multiplier on his second and third are not very high. Therefore, he can't really do that much damage. In the end, I just put despair, um, broken speed crit and attack on him. Sometimes I'll use him with 3 cut in arena, but that's when only when the opponent has all squishies. I don't really use him. Next up is Varad. So Varad, you can see he is 99 speed. He's extremely difficult to use if you ruin him like this because you would want your armor breaker to move before him and not by a long shot, like just by a little bit. Uh, in my case, my AoE armor break is Galleon, who has 198 speed, so unless I can raise the rat speed to extremely high as well. But then, who buffs defense? Randy or Emesity? Emesity is two, 230. I can't 
it's impossible to let the combination of these three to make a really good offense team that will meshes up very well. So I, in the end, I I got I, pull, I recently pulled a mantra, and I'm probably gonna use him instead. Um, yeah, so he's ruins defense crit damage defense. Basically, I'll use mantra with him. Mantra it will probably like be like two speed faster than him. Yeah. Next up is Laika. Laika has my best set of vampire runes. He um, he does 45k to 50k. Um, he used to have like 75% crit rate but 205 crit damage. He did 50k back then with, with attack buff and arm break. But um, I prefer higher crit rate now because it's more consistent. I don't have to yell crit at my screen every, every time he uses justice. He is still really squishy and... Um, I might think of turning him into a bruiser in the future because I feel like I'm not utilizing his passive enough at all at the moment. Um, plus his awakening is resistance so I really don't like that. So he's currently on attack for damage attack. Vampire guard, you want will ruins on him, I don't have it so let's keep going. Um, this is my Chloe, she's on swift will. She used, has, she used to have my fastest set of swift, however, as I 6 starred my Bernard, she got the short end of the stick, so I put her on my second fastest set of swift, and I also managed to slap a set of will runes on her. So she is swift will, speed, HP, HP. They all have a little bit of HP subs, but not a lot, that's why she's stuck at 241 speed. She's also like 30k HP and a, a bit over a thousand defense. This is my Beretta. I don't really use him anymore because I think that he is a little bit redundant. Like he has a, his best part is that he has a leader skill. Other than that, I don't see why I would use Rika. Why, why I wouldn't use Rika over him. So I use Rika in his place now and I put in Wuchi to AOE decrease attack bar. He's on despair focus. Uh, sometimes when I want more dots to clear TOA heart faster, I would bring him and Rika. Next up is Verd. Um, Verd hasn't had my best runes at all. Once upon a time, he was on a swift set with like 220 speed. Later on, I, ch I changed him to Violent Revenge. This is his set at the moment. Um, he doesn't do much damage at all. And... I only use him in dragons. I used to use him in the new beasts, but after his kit got nerfed in there, I kind of just stopped using him. He's kind of squishy too, but since he can do dragons, uh, he'll stay like this. I don't use him in PvP at all. Okay. Next up is Tessarian. Tessarian, um, as you can see, my Tessarian has 173 speed. Okay, my Theomars, he has 172. That's right, I use them together. Um, in this case, Tessarian will move and Theomars will move right after. And Tessarian has okay-ish accuracy, so... Um, decent HP as well, I guess, because he has a speed slot. I specifically made him like this so that I can make, let my Theomars move right after him. We can counter a lot of monsters like Perna, Wind Monkey, all that stuff. Things that can be oblivion. Um, so here are his ruins. He's ruined speed, HP, HP. The slot six is a max yet. I might max max that next. And yeah, he he works pretty well. I really like him. His with attack buff and armor break, his first crit can crit for 11k. Considering how he only has 800 attack and 65 crit damage, that's actually a lot. Anyway, next up is Randy. I also kind of regret 6-starring him, um, originally I 6-starred him in order for me to pass Necro, however, between him, Adrian, and Colleen, there were three people who had to buff, and one of his buffs were the same as Adrian's, the, the crit buff, so like often, more often than not, they weren't able to focus the boss's shield down fast enough. And even when they do, it's kind of RNG if Randy ignores defense on first skill or gets the chain on second skill. So in the end, I had to put him as a PvP unit. I used him with Copper and Chloe. Um, then MSD HOH came out. 
I have farmed enough necessities and I never use Randy anymore. So he still has a speed lead, but I don't really like it. Um, I think necessity copper bulldozer is pretty much a really, really common and good team. So now I just don't use Randy. He has a shield rune. I, I don't remember. Yeah, shield will revenge. I might use him with Mantra and Varad later on, but I'm not sure yet. I'll think about that later. Next up is Trevor. I recently made a Trevor um, spotlight. I think that he's really good as a elemental beast frontliner in wind, water, and dark. No, no water. Wind, light, and dark. Um, he pretty much pushed my score from B's range to A range and he's on Vampire Revenge. Some people were saying that he could be on Vampire Nemesis, Speed Crit and Attack, or Speed Crit Damage the HP. It, it will all work. He's fast if, if he's fast enough, he'll get back enough health from the Vampire set. Um, next up is my Plady. This is another disappointment. I used Plady back when I uh, was tired of manualing dragons with Lumi, so I made an auto team with Plady and Aman. Uh, Plady was a reviver, however, he she didn't really function that well because she uses her heal and then she doesn't have revive since it's on the same skill. Um, I even farmed some skill ups for her from the Wind Mermaid HOH and I really regret farming all of those and fitting them into her because she functioned for all of like a month and then I just stopped using her. Next up is Shi Hua. Shi Hua is a very good monster in Necro. I have to say that her leader skill is insane. If you pair up with some good um, fire fire damage leaders, in this case, I ruin my all my Necro mobs are on really bad ruins. The like Shi Hua, Adrian, all that stuff, they are on really bad ruins. She's on triple attack, and she has like. 14k HP. It's not very good, but apparently can pass, so I'm not really complaining. Um, yeah, next up is Colleen. Colleen is also a Necro member. She also works really well in raid. Um, I put her in the back line. She could definitely have, get a little bit more speed, a bit more HP, and definitely a lot more resistance. Uh, accuracy. Uh, resistance can be like 10% higher. Um, I don't I think she's one of those units that you don't need that many good runes on her to make her shine. So I never put really good runes on her and she's just on speed HP HP. Yeah, like one of them wasn't even maxed, the slot four. Next up is Hua. This is a raid Hua. I use her in the backline as well. Um, she's pretty good with her leader skill. Recently I made a video on her as well. Um, she's on Swift Broken Speed Crit Damage Attack. She's very good in Raid. I use her in Drag uh, Giants. And yeah, they're, these are her runes. There are teams that can go with dragons with her too, but I'll skip that for now. Um, Rika is my AO monster together with Tower. Um, she has 18, 000, uh, 1800 attack. Um, she doesn't do that much damage. She does like 21k, 19k to 21k with speed crit damage attack, the spare broken. I made a video on her as well, and I think she's a very good unit. I use her in TOE hard too. Next up is Adrian. Adrian, it was his ruins attack, crit rate attack, and he kind of benefits from Shi Hua's leader skill. So he puts on dots and leaves unrecoverable. He's also the fastest of the, the uh, Fuko, her, her I name, mean, Shihua, and her himself. So, yeah. Um, this is a, my raid frontliner, Fire Panda. He has defense, defense HP on. Um, ideally speaking, you might not want Violent on him, but I really, really like his third skill. Um, like it, it saved me a bunch of times and also his second, his like mini heal, it also saved me a bunch of times too. So I had to put him on Violent Revenge and I really like it so I'll just leave it as it is. 
This is my Lisa. This is my Ray Cleanser. She used to have like five less speed, and for the past month, I've been farming dragons, and then she got a little bit of greed, and now she has 199 speed. Uh, some people use her for dragons, but you would need more accuracy than 8% to do dragons to be able to use cutting magic reliably. Um, she's on speed, HP, HP, violent guard, and she does pretty well in raid. Next up is my bulldozer. My bulldozer, as you can see, I focus mainly on his crit damage. Um, he can do 33k ish without anything, uh, without defense, uh, with only defense buff. So defense buff crit. So I just pair him with a immensity, and he works pretty well. He's on rage will defense crit damage defense. He can do with a bit more defense. I'll try to find a little bit more defense subs for him in the future. And yeah, he has next up is Kumar. Kumar was my latest Nat 5 pull. I was super excited when I got him, but then after a while I realized I actually don't have the runes for him. Um, I tried putting him on AD, but it didn't work, work that well. I think, yeah, currently I'm farming dragons and necro and I'm pretty much fishing for a good set for him. Um, I want him to be on Violent Will, speed crit, HP, HP, or Violent Will, speed, uh, HP, crit damage, HP. Currently, he doesn't have much crit damage at all, he doesn't have much speed at all, and he's not that tanky. So basically, he has nothing. So I can only put him on Guild World Defense, and sometimes maybe he'll proc to get me some wins. Otherwise, I don't really use him right now, um, so yeah. Next up is Acasis. She carried me through Gi Giant Speed 10. Back then, when I used Veromoss, Bernard, Shannon, Bella, and Acasis, um, she has like world boss ruins right now. Like, I never took her ruins off. She would look like this, uh, like nine months ago or something. Something very ridiculous. A very very long time ago, she looked like this, and she works pretty well. I even fed her some other Sylphs to. Um, make for her third skill max. I also tried first skill, but it didn't really work that well because it all went to second and I don't really appreciate that mm, I don't really recommend six starring her now though. I think she's okay um, Next up is Bernard. He has 279 speed. I know there are a lot of people whose Bernard is faster than mine. I know that But this is the best I can do right now I didn't even care about the slot 4 and slot 6 um, main stat, I just wanted as much speed on him as possible. I didn't really care about accuracy either, so here are his ruins. He's on speed, attack, defense. And one of them isn't grinded, so I can still get another like 3 for speed-ish. And that will push me over the 280 mark, which I guess is a lot better. Next up is Copper. Copper with... um. Defense buff will do around 42k to 43k. Um, he is a very staple team with Bulldozer and Messity in Guild Wars. Strongly recommend him if you are done with your PvE content. He is Ruin Guard Guard Will. And I focus a bit more on defense here compared to crit damage. Then again, there, you probably have a lot of spirit guard runes out there anyway. That's why I put mine on guard guard will. I really do like the will offset though. I think the will is really good in general. So I just put a set on him, especially since my slot 2 had a lot of crit rate. So yeah, in the end, he looks like that. This is my Delphoi. I 6 starred her in hopes that she would carry my raid front line, which she kind of did. Um, this was before the Fire Panda was um, introduced into the game, so I used her and Diaz in the front line. Um, she pretty much often died. She had a lot better stats than now, of course. A lot more defense, but she still often died, and I didn't think she provided enough. I even um, farmed the HOH for Tilasha to max her third skill. Nowadays, I use her in PvP just a little bit. Sometimes in in um, Guild Wars when all my units died, I use her with Copper or something like that. She can reset Theomars, can reset Perna, resets 
don't uh, go through glancing. So yeah. Next up is my Katarina. I would really, really want to put a will set on her. However, I'm unable to do so, and I'm stuck with Rage Blade. So I have to use Chloe with her instead of the Water Horus, because I think will set is a must if you want to use Katarina with Water Horus. Anyway, I just went through her ruins. She's attack rate and attack. So next up is Chasun. Um, she has like 36k HP now. Um, I still have a lot of room to grind her up, and I think I can get some better runes for her in the future. She's ruined Violet Shield, Speed HP, HP. I really like her. I think she's a very good monster. I use her pretty much everywhere, except fast, uh, clear dungeons, basically. And yeah, if you have her, use her and give her some skill ups. She's a really different monster if you have skill ups compared to if you don't have skill ups. And the final member of my necro team, Foucault. I basically. He has really bad runes. He's on Violent Revenge, and I farmed the Rujo HOH for him. I specifically didn't want to max his second skill because I didn't want him to use Armor Break that much, although it does more damage. I think the slow is more important as he is my only monster with slow in Necro. And he moves a last, and yeah, I don't really use him anywhere else. Next up is my Wind Monkey. My last video was about Wind Monkey, how to use him, and all that stuff. Um, as I said in that video, all my stats can be improved, and basically I'm still stuck in dragons, and yeah, Violent Revenge, HP, crit damage, attack. I want more speed, more attack, more HP, more crit, more crit damage. Basically, a lot of everything. Next up is Mav. Um, I didn't really care about his runes, as long as he can survive. Um, he can survive up to TOA hard 70. I never tried him past 70, so I don't really know. He's on speed, HP, HP. None of these ruins are maxed. His slot 2 is on like plus 10. So, I mean, he still works, so until he stops working, I'll just put his runes like that. He's a last move on my team, which is good because I want him to refresh everyone's cooldown. And yeah. He has a lot of accuracy for some reason. I don't know why though. Next up is Lucian. I have to admit I neglected my Lucian for the longest time ever. He's still really neglected. I fed him some skill ups, but I never got my second Lucian. That's why I couldn't use all my resources on him because I don't think one Lucian is enough. So he's now just a dungeon farmer. I use him in giants as a leader skill. And he does, he does, he wipes the crystals in giants, which is nice. Um, yeah. I think he's a really good monster, but I need a second one. Badly. Next up is Wuchi. I use him in combination with Rika. Sometimes with Arya too, but his AoE attack reduction is very valuable to my Kyoi hard team. He's on speed, HP, HP. I don't really care about his ruins. A bit of, I just need a bit of speed, a bit of HP, and a bit of accuracy. That's all I need. Next up is Immensity. Um, so for Immensity, I went Swift Will. There's another way to ruin him, which is Swift anything, but you need to be really fast. Since I put my best runes on my Bernard, um, Immensity got the short end of the stick, and he's on speed HP defense. He has 122 speed. Uh, he doesn't really die that much, and I use him a lot, actually. I even use him in Water Beasts. I'll talk about that in a later video. Um, next up is Bella. Bella is 27k HP here. Actually, he's like she's like 28. Um, I haven't changed her ruins in a long time. She has decent accuracy. Uh, her speed was made to be this so that I can move um, a bit before my Theo Mars. And sometimes I use Theo Mars, Bella Chasun, and Guild Wars still. Uh, so that I can seize the opponent when the opponent has a single threat. And I seize him, and then Theomars can kind of hit him. Um, he's on Violent Focus, Speed HP, HP, and yeah. Next time is Aman. I know, the first, first look you would... First idea that you would think 
when you see this is why is he ruined like this? Well, he's on world boss ruins, and I don't really want to talk about him. He was in my um, dragons team, but I kicked him out. I don't really like using him, and yeah. Next one is Darien. Um, I six star Darien when I wanted to use him with Laika. However, later on, I just found out that the Bella is strictly better, and I just stopped using Darien. And then I wanted to use him for raid later, but then Dias exists, so why would I use Darien? Recently, I I've started to grow another liking for him since I did the budget Guild War video. Um, I might plus 15 his ruins soon. He's on Revenge of Wind Shield, HP, HP, HP. Um, I'm s kind of like reluctant on t on plus 15 his ruins, but I guess I'll try later. Next up is Molly. She's my, my on my AD. She has 37k HP, 79 defense, uh, resistance, and plus 65 speed. I think that she could definitely be faster. And I will prefer her on a will set. As you can see, her slot 2 doesn't have any speed on it. And her slot 5 has like 4. So yeah, I want her to be faster and a bit more tanky. Next up is Dona. Uh, this poor little penguin carried me through R4. So after Delphoi, I used Dona. And I max killed him and I used him for a very long time until I pulled my Lisa and 6 starred her. And yeah, unfortunately he doesn't get used now. Next up is Iona. Iona, when I just pulled her, I was extremely, extremely happy. But then I found out that her rune requirements are on the high side. You would want like 45k HP with some very decent speed. And then you would also want resistance and you would want will, violent will. I don't have the runes to do that now, so yeah. Next up is Arya. Arya, I use her for QA hard. She's very good at um, uh, stunning the opponent with sleep, all that stuff. She has a slow and glancing. She has unrecoverable. She's a very good monster in QA hard. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to farm enough Arya's for her first skill. So yeah, I had to leave that out. And she's on Despair Revenge. I don't know why I put on revenge, but I guess she's just on revenge, so I only use her in Tilly hard. Next up is Veramos. His ruins haven't been updated in a very long time as well. This Veramos helped me a lot in the past, um, but nowadays I don't really use him anymore except in dragons, and I think, yeah, he's on Violent Nemesis, Speed, HP, HP, and Maybe I'll change his rune set soon. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's not really used at the moment. Next up is DS. We're getting close to the end. DS is my second raid frontliner. His stats are enough for him to tank the frontline. Although I do want a bit more resistance and accuracy. Um, currently, he's on defense, defense HP. And... I love him. He's really good in, in Raid Frontline. Uh, he's on Focus Revenge Guard because I want a bit of accuracy, but in the end, I wasn't able to get enough to 70% resistance. Next up is Jotan. I use him with Light Gun Chasun in Guild Wars. He has plus 12 runes on 246, and he can potentially be a monster, but I also think he has a pretty high rune requirement. and. Maybe I'll try plus 15 his ruins and see how well he does. Currently, he's just an armor breaker and speed lead, and sometimes I can use him as like the opponent hit him and opponent's health goes down. Yeah, sometimes it works. All right, so this is my review of my 46 six stars. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for your time and have a good day. See you next time. Bye-bye.